Hey guys, Steve here. Today we got a game in the Udachi for you. There's Space Fishy, essentially Tanaka. We're going to be talking about Destroyer decision making here. Uh, but briefly, before we get into that, giveaways continued. 25,000 subscribers on the main channel, and both on the T Bull channel and the Bull Bites channel all week long. We're going to have giveaways today. Pair of crates for one of you guys, Halloween 2022 crates. Uh, what you got to do number one, be subscribed to the channel. Number two, uh, hit the like button and three in the comments. Give me your console that you play on and the screen name exactly as it appears in game. No typos or extra spaces or anything like that. All right. So I'll notify everyone who wins during the stream on Saturday, the 25,000 subscriber celebration stream where we got a pair of tier six premiums and a tier seven premium to give away. So hopefully you guys can uh, come by for that one. I'll post more details. Or perhaps I already have recorded this in the future. Anyway, uh, getting into the game here. Pair of destroyers. Now we're one of them. Uh, great deployment by other destroyer. He spawned north of B. Putting destroyers in B on this map, Greece, I find to be unprofitable. Any ship can really get in there and we get no spotting from destroyers. So he's actually going towards A, which makes my decision a lot easier. We're going to play the uh, CD side where each team has a home cap. If we can grab their cap early, we're going to halt their income and add to our income. So that's a double whammy. Um, but the destroyer is at least spreading out now. It looks like he's getting confused over there. But <laughs> initial deployment looked pretty good. Anyways, we're playing over here. Uh, moving forward, we're going to be spotting a lot. And this is going to be a very aggressive opening. All right, now when we're, especially in the opening when there's a lot of ships. But throughout the game, as a destroyer, when we're encountering other destroyers, and we want to do this, one of our main jobs is to help eliminate the enemy destroyers by whatever means necessary. When we're doing that, we got to keep an eye on whose support ships are closest, right? Now, we got some guys on blue that are close to us that could potentially shoot a destroyer if we spot one. But these guys are all very close here. All right, we got Algeria, we got a pair of battleships, all basically within 10 kilometers. Amagi, close range, and if a destroyer all of a sudden pops up right here, spots us, yeah, we might have three, four, five ships shooting at us all at once. Now, can we slam on the brakes, pop the smoke, get out of there in time to survive that? Maybe, maybe not. It's a very high-risk play. So, this is extremely aggressive. I wouldn't necessarily be this aggressive at all uh, for most of your openings. But I'm looking at the situation saying, okay, they already got a destroyer in A for sure. And then there's another one somewhere else. So... Uh, we launch at the Algerie, then we launch at the Alabama. <laughs> We're going for the double strike right off the bat here. Uh, pop the torpedo reload booster because uh, there's targets plenty. We also need to defend against the Iowa, who is, unbeknownst to him, pushing right into us. Uh, they got a lot of planes flying around, so there's a good chance a lot of these torps are being spotted early. Um, but nevertheless, uh, we're throwing them in the water, trying to make it as hazardous for these guys as possible. Battleships hate being torped. All right, and there's a shot on one of them. Iowa going to take another couple of whacks here. And basically this is going to deter these guys from being over here. They're going to say, oh man, Destroyer, not fair, I can't see him. Uh, I'm going to go on Reddit and complain about this situation. <laughs> it's usually the response. Uh, but then they're going to turn off and they're going to clump up. All right, so this is doing a good job here, kind of controlling what we can control. Now, Iowa moving in very aggressively. If he continues to push, yeah, we got the smoke uh, deployed. We're currently safe. Uh, but if he gets closer to us... Yeah, we got to start thinking about, okay, is he closing in on that three kilometer range? Which is, if he puts the mod in the proxy spot mod on a ship, he might spot us there. Or if he gets close enough and the smoke dissipates, we're going to be permanently spotted. So, battleships getting this close to us, dangerous. But because we we're shooting at him and the team was shooting at him, I figured, okay, we got a pretty good shot of killing him. Uh, let's just keep an eye on it. But if he had more health or whatever, we need to get out of there. We can't just say, okay, we're trying to capture the base. Uh, it doesn't work that way. Now, as soon as he's dead, we immediately back up and uh, get out of the smoke, returning to our spotting roll, right? We don't just sit in the smoke. We use the smoke defensively uh, to survive. Once we got spotted, then we changed it around, used it offensively to help attack the Iowa, but then it became a hindrance, right? We cannot just sit there in the smoke. Do not do that as a destroyer. You're there to spot. That's one of your key competencies, your key roles. You need to be doing that. So as soon as it was safe, Popped out of there. Number one, to protect ourselves. We want to make sure these guys weren't running up on us, unbeknownst to us. Number two, provide our team with shots. And look at this black hole formation here. 
the entirety of the fleet minus the one destroyer that we can see over there all balled up in essentially a two by one grid horrible positioning by red uh, but what do we do here we're not getting bogged down especially as a japanese destroyer player salivating saying oh baby i can get behind these guys and torp for the rest of the game no what we're doing is we're playing strategically important regions in the map and what you want to do is just draw a little bit of an oval tightly around all the caps. You see the map there on the top left corner, that's the game map. Uh, starting at A, and then around B, and then loop up and around C and D, and then back around towards A. That's what I would call the relevant uh, positions on the map. Doesn't mean you have to be located in those positions throughout the match. As a destroyer, yeah, you probably should for the most part, uh, as a rule of thumb at least, be in those spots. But we need to be able to be in positions where we can affect that uh, critical area of the map, right? So battleships that are way back there are going to have a hard time shooting into those zones. Irrelevant. You're in a bad position. You're not affecting the game in a major way. Uh, same thing with cruisers. If you got a big island between you and the relevant part of the map and you can't shoot into it, well, are you in the right position? We always got to be evaluating that. Uh, and then here, as a Japanese destroyer player, we love torpin battleships, yes, and he gone is the Imagi. But we want to be torping the battleships that are located in relevant positions. Our, who's affecting the game the most? That's the target, okay? We want to be attacking the destroyers, yes. Uh, last seen all the way on the other side of the map. So we can't do that quite yet. We want to be capturing bases, yes. We attacked D, we cleared it out, we captured the base. Now we're attacking B. Attempting to clear that out, attempting to capture the base, right? Uh, sailing around on their spawn, launching torps that I have a 10% chance to hit for the remainder of the match, not a good play. Attacking the caps, killing the defenders, or attacking the defenders at least that are trying to affect the game from a scoring perspective, that's a solid play. All right, so we need to be focusing on what actually matters, okay? Yes, we want to be torping, but we want to be torping as we're doing... Uh, productive and useful things. Torps away in the Vlad, who is aggressively attacking B. Algeri coming around here. If he comes around, he's in our blue circle. We will be spotted. Good job uh, by the team spotting or shooting him and taking him off before we get spotted. Once again, planes flying around, so these torps are spotted. The Vlad reacts. Now uh, we're going to go ahead and fire here. As we're going to uh, come around the island and drop spot again. And we got him with one torp. Let's see if it sticks with the flood. Looks like there is some damage. Uh, continuing and we got him on fire so he's actually in trouble uh, we're behind the island we're protected here unable to capture b sure we didn't get it and that was one of our goals was capturing the bases but we don't say to ourselves okay we're on the base we have to live or die on this base that's not how we capture bases we have to say to ourselves all right vlad's pushing in here we're about to get spotted and if we get spotted maybe we die okay that's a very risky play let's get off the cap we can come back to the cap here in a moment and by the way, we've already had two caps to zero for the majority of the game. Now we got two caps to one. Score is not our big issue, okay? Summer is coming around here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and attack him. And we do have some torps loaded here. Knocked his engine. That's going to cause some problems for him. And the torps coming in hot. Ooh, baby. He got one as well. And there goes the Summers for the second dev strike. And the fourth kill here. Let's see if we can get the Kraken. Um, but more importantly, the win. All right, we got a cruiser way off there, so it's going to be tough to get the Kraken. But hopefully this has been kind of illustrative to you, right? We got plenty of torp hits, sure. We got eight torp hits. We got plenty of damage, sure. But we've been doing it in the zone of relevancy, all right? So focus on doing that. One of the major problems that new destroyers have is they get distracted, all right? They get, especially if they can get behind the enemy, either trying to torp the carrier or just launch torps at the backline beddies who are probably the least useful ships on the enemy team we don't want to be wasting valuable destroyer resources on unvaluable plays all right so belfast uh, the only radar on the enemy team arguably the top target that red spawned in with last one alive all right so that's a whole nother matter you want your team kill the radars from the get-go uh, but they're doing a good job there and they take them off the board so that's a look at the udachi for you guys hopefully you did enjoy it if you did Please hit the thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Lots of World of Warships coming for you all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you guys, and we'll see you all later. All right, peace.